Uh, my my name, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Jordan Mueller. I'm Austin Whiteford, and I'm Jordan Fulhart. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. We have come up with a network design to open our own uh, sports and hobby store called Sporty Games. Um, we believe that the equipment we've chosen will be sufficient based on our needs, but also cost effective. Um, we will choose the, the best equipment that we can find while maintaining a budget, um, also looking for green certificates to be environmentally friendly. The technical design of our network consists of a uh, server client system and our front store, our first store, will basically be headquarters for now until we expand. And there we'll run our uh, server, our two office computers, our point of sale, and our, uh, our client information portal at the store. And uh, we'll link to our warehouse by using VPNs. Uh, this is an established uh, method of connecting off-site places. It's secure, it's encrypted. And it's also very cost effective. All you need is basically just another internet connection. Uh, the good thing about that, too, is we can start out with fairly low business class uh, internet access. We were thinking probably about a three megabit per second DSL line. And as we grow, as our data, as our warehouse needs more connectivity to other stores, all we have to do is just upgrade our uh, internet access in between. We chose a Windows server environment because even upfront costs in, say, a Linux server, the advantage is that it's well known. It's easy for both us as owners of our business to understand, and uh, it will be no problem for the external management company to take care of. It also supports all of the functions that we'll need in our network, including shared printing, sharing files, uh, data redundancy, RAID systems as well as providing for our VPN infrastructure through the internet. As we expand, we can also move our web hosting from off-site. We're just going to start with an off-site contract where we can easily start with our encryption and our credit card processing from them from a well-known company, maybe like GoDaddy or another well-known off-site booster. And if we grow to the point where we find that it's more cost-effective for us to host our own uh, website data, we, we still have plenty of room to expand with our Windows environment. Um, we're going to choose an entry-level server, but closer to mid-level server, just because we want to have the ability to expand. Uh, uh, we'll start off with very little data to begin with, but it will quickly grow. As part of our da disaster recovery program, uh, we're going to choose all next day business replacement options in case of flooding or anything natural. And uh, our backup cons solution will consist of disk to disk to off site. And we're going to choose a reputable online backup storage company. Um, <coughs> just a quick conclusion thank you very much for your time today. I've, I think we've shown that uh, we have a lot of dedication to this. You know, cost effect. Cost effectiveness is very important for starting for a uh, beginning business. Uh, and as we've seen here in the past few months, it is very important for a good disaster recovery plan. I believe we have that with, you know, something like uh, Mosey Pro or something like that that would easily back up any uh, files. And uh, green certification. I think we're as we're seeing here in the past few years, it is very important to see what you can do to help your planet and I believe uh, that would be very important to our business as well and you know it's it's a best of both world store uh, it's a hobby store and a sports store and that way you're getting two demographics and and you know it's just easy access Take free time Appreciate you taking into you know remembering our cost and our budget to be extremely low and some jobs that you're giving us to uh, on the firewall. What you're looking at is doing the firewall. Completely software type firewall built in through the server. Um.
for initial reasons, yes. But there's actually, due to the way most internet connections function today, uh, most of them you have a router in between and you do network address translation. So that's kind of a built-in firewall. But in addition to that, we will want to put in a hardware firewall just in case. Uh, not anything expensive. We wouldn't want to go with something like Barracuda. We're not quite to that level. Um, but something definitely there just to make sure that we can't be infiltrated through open ports. And also, uh, just due to time, I forgot to include the firewall on all the other ones. But there will be like a firewall in between all our off-site places. And uh, because the VPN is already behind a firewall, any VPN traffic itself won't have a separate firewall. But there will be a firewall in between the physical connection to the internet and the uh, off-site network. For the customer, uh, are we looking at a kiosk machine, or are we just looking at another workstation located within the store? I would say just another workstation. Okay. And what OS are we looking at on the workstations? Uh, I would say Windows XP, Windows 7, somewhere in that general area. Windows XP is a very tried and true operating system. And it's a few years old now, so it's cheaper. But it, you know, it's also a very reliable operating system. Uh, so what are you guys going to deploy as your VPN at the warehouse? Are you going to have another server there? Because I guess you said your service goes through the VPN. The the printer will initially just be connected to the workstation. Um, right, right. Well, what I'm asking is, what kind of hardware? No, we're just going to use the standard built-in tools of Windows to connect to, uh, like, uh, L2TP or... Oh, okay, so you're using client VPN. Okay, it's yes. interesting. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very um, good. But you do bring up a good point. As we grow, if our warehouse needs increase, then we will change that from using client VPN, and we will actually make the whole network. Always on site. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Can you tell me a little more about your server environment? Yes, um, we use Active Directory just because it's also tried and true. Uh, it provides the security. You got out of it. That's all right. She, she stopped. So well, that's good. I, I was really interested, though. That's <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you.